During my high school years, we had a lot of success on my robotics team. But our robotics team is not just consisted of students. It requires a lot of mentors. Being the state champions means we're like, we're the techies, we know a lot of things. Uh, you'll just adjust this one to match that one. The first time I was in robotics, I was terrified. I actually wouldn't talk to the other guys and I always work in the corner by myself. My mentor, Phil Allen, helped me through that. Phil came over there and said, here, Aisha, why don't you come do this? Or why don't you work with the other team? Another main factor why I joined S&T was because of my mentor, Phil Allen. He went to S&T himself, and he'd make jokes all the time, and he also made us enjoy it. I got my job at S&T as a intern through robotics. My freshman year at s and I was at TJ studying with a group and I got a call and it was from one of my previous robotic team members, Drew, and then he told me, I should, I have some bad news. Phil and his wife passed away in a tragic car accident, a head-on collision, and I didn't know what to do. Everything that he's done has influenced me through s and and made me stay so I can be a better engineer. He was like a father figure to me. I want to be like him. And everything that he's done, I wish I could amount to that. When he had the accident, I thought they're having a hard time. I saw a team that needs a mentor. Oh, it's not on. The rush. I probably should come back and help them because all the other mentors, they came back. And I thought around the second semester, I said, I have to come back every day to help. And all these mentors want to show them this is what you can do and how fun it can be. I know that in the beginning, they were all kind of scared how to do things, but I think they've all came a long way. <laughs> they all have their different experiences, and I hope it's a good one. There we go.